Hey artists, today I want to talk to you about Dr. Martin Luther King. As you know, yesterday was Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Day, so we had off. So I hope you took time to reflect on his work that he'd done for this country and does some community service around your neighborhoods. So what I did during Martin Luther King Jr. Day, I took some time to reflect about the work that he did for this country and how it's made a huge difference in our lives today. When he was around your age, he couldn't play with some of his friends because they were white and he was black. And he knows his world around him about how much stuff was just unfair and how much he was restricted from being able to live his life. He couldn't go to the same bathrooms. He couldn't go to use the same water fountains. He couldn't go to the same pools. He couldn't go to the same schools as white people. And the stuff that he was allowed to do, it wasn't as good. And he thought, that was not fair. I should be able to do the same things as my white friends do. So when he got older and he started to become a pastor, he took his platform and he made some changes in his community. He gathered a bunch of friends with him and they would do sit-ins, they would do peaceful protests, they would speak to uh, official leaders like the president and they would demand that everyone should have the same rights as people who are white. So people of all colors, not just black people. And because he did that work, he risked his life every day, getting thrown to jail, getting threats. He literally put himself out there just so everyone can have the same rights. And because of him, everyone has the right to vote as soon as you turn 18, as long as you're American in this country. Everyone can go to the same schools, everyone can use the same bathrooms, everyone can do the same kinds of activities as everybody else. You can work the same jobs. You have all these opportunities laid out for you. And because of him, we now have a, the first black president two elections ago. And this upcoming election tomorrow, we have the first black vice president, the first black and Asian vice president. And not only that, a woman vice president. That is something that I'm pretty sure he saw ahead of his time, he the vision that was gonna happen someday. So the fact that the work that he did, even though he was not not allowed to see it happening, it made a difference. So just because when he was a kid and he was envisioning all these things happening, just because he was young doesn't mean that he didn't think it was gonna happen someday and do put in the work to make that happen for himself. So I encourage you as kids to dream big, see yourself um, in the eyes of what you want to achieve in this world to help out your communities. For me, I personally want to be able to help young artists hone in on their craft and be able to really be the best they can be in the arts. I want to help them get into college with scholarships so they don't have to take out loans to pay for college because you may not know it's right now, but if you take out a loan to go to college, you have to pay that back later, and it's not fun doing that. So I encourage you, get as many scholarships as you can, because that's free money right there. And I want to help the youth be creative and business-minded, because businesses is what's really going to help you build your wealth for yourself and build your kingdom for yourself. That's something I dreamed about doing since I was a kid, and I know it's going to help make a difference in the community, because not a lot of artists get a lot of respect for what we do, and... I think that's wrong. I think that should change because artists are the backbone, the backbone of this whole world. So that's my dream. What is your dream? I want you to share that with me by drawing a self-portrait, which is a picture of yourself. I made a Bitmoji version of myself and writing down some dreams that you have that you think is going to change the world. If you have any questions, you can feel free to contact me on Class Dojo or on Schoology. And you don't have to just draw it out like I did. You can paint it, you can use different objects in your house and make a sculpture out of it. You can use the digital art resources in the digital art resources folder. You can try to do this project in any shape or form that you want, as long as you can fulfill the criteria of making a self-portrait, a picture of yourself, and writing down some dreams that you want to achieve that will change the world. All right? You got this, guys. I'll see you soon. I can't wait to see what you come up with.